This model in the colours of the Dutch company Kolk is a little unusual because it arrived in a plain box without the usual model number and description on the back. Other than that, the packaging is the usual WSI box style, with the model sitting in a tray with a lid and it's all factory sealed. After a swish of the knife, the lid can be opened and then the parts can be got out. And there's only a couple of pieces. The largest one is the free axle cargo floor trailer. And the other part is the Volvo FH2 Globetrotter XL tractor unit. There's also a bag with a few small parts and these have to be fitted to the trailer. But wait, there's more. Hiding away in the top of the tray is a long fin piece and that has to be carefully cut free from its securing tape. There are a few pieces to fit to the cargo floor trailer and these are associated with the tarpaulin roof. To fit the first parts we need to take off the tarpaulin roof and then we can fit three pieces of wire which span across. And the purpose of these on the real truck would be to support the tarpaulin to stop it falling into the trailer. They're not needed to support the plastic tarpaulin roof of the model but at least they're in the right place if you install them. The long fin piece represents the tarpaulin roll and that just drops into place on the edge of the trailer. The underside of the Volvo is highly detailed as you would expect from WSI and the tread pattern on the tyres is very good. The blue highlighted hubs of the wheels look very smart and actually the paint scheme on the whole model looks really sharp. The Volvo front end looks great and there's a realistic number plate. Detail behind the cab is very good with coiled air lines and excellent fuel tanks. And the rear end is a good combination of graphics and lights with plastic lenses. The underside of the cargo floor trailer is really good with the individual slats of the walking floor modelled as is the mechanism. And the axles have the suspension modelled and the wheels look smart. Tanks for the walking floor hydraulics make up the rear. One very nice aspect is the access ladders and platform at the front which are all modelled in metal. And the trailer sides are metal too with really nice graphics. One very nice small detail is the excellent control console for the walking floor. At the rear the detailing of the door mechanism is good and the lights are convincing. Up on top the plastic tarpaulin is moulded to give it a realistic looking texture. And inside the trailer the slats of the walking floor are nicely modelled in metal. Time to give the Volvo a spin out and it rolls really well. As usual for a WSI model it doesn't have any working suspension on the tractor. And in terms of front axle steering this model is a little better than the usual WSI models and it is possible to get a reasonable range of movement. The truck still rolls with that amount of steering on but if you want it any tighter you can force it a bit more but then it won't roll. And that's because the tyres are fouled on the wheel arch behind. The other main feature on the tractor is the tilting cab and that works really well on this model. It tilts to a very good angle so you get to see the detailed engine underneath. Moving over to the trailer and it rolls well in a straight line. And although the tyres are all fixed on common axles they spin freely. They do have one nicely engineered feature and that's fully sprung suspension. And it's independent on each axle with a good range of movement. The other feature underneath is the landing legs which lower by unscrewing. And they allow the trailer to stand properly on its own. There is another small unusual feature at the rear of the trailer which is a cover which folds down and protects the lights. And this is presumably used when the trailer is unloading bulk materials. So with the run through of the features complete we can move on to join up the tractor and trailer. And this model has the usual simple connection of the kingpin clipping into the fifth wheel. Once that's done the connection is solid and you can drive your truck and trailer all round your tabletop. The scaling is also good because there's no fouling of the tractor and trailer during a tight turn. So I've mentioned this truck has a walking floor so how does that work and here no expense is spared by cranes etc to illustrate. The slats on the floor all have a small amount of backwards and forwards movement and when they all move together the load moves forward. But if they are retracted one at a time then the load stays where it is. And by repeating this process any load on the trailer floor can be inched forwards or backwards. It works with pallets like this box but it also works with bulk materials. So that means the trailer can tip its load without having to tip up the body. So it's very good wherever headroom is tight. So hopefully that illustrates the principle and if we look again inside the model you can see the slats. Anyway after that tutorial what the hell's going on here? Surely the driver's not going to drive away with a tarp on the floor. 
Oh, bloody hell, what's going on? No wonder the Cranes etc guys had a heart attack. In summary, this is a really nice looking truck model from WSI. It looks great in the cult colour scheme and the detailing is really good. There's also enough features to make it an interesting model, so it's an easy one to highly recommend. Oh, <laughs>